Hey guys, been a while since I did a video of this, or, well, any video. Hey guys, welcome back to Tales of the Abyss. In the last part, we, what did we do? We did some stuff involving a Rex with blades in his back, and we got a plane, or we got the thing that made the plane fly, and we are bringing it back to old people. So yeah, let's go ahead and do that. You must be the nuts who sailed over here on a Malkuth land ship. Hmm? Are you a Malkuth soldier? Uh-oh. Run! Capture them! You're back! Aston's about to attach the hover drive right now! Open this door immediately! What's going on? We were spotted by Kim Loskin's soldiers. Oh, that's right. You're a soldier from Malkuth. This city originally produced landships for Malkuth. If we weren't on the brink of war, nobody would have cared. Speaking of landships, we took a load of parts from yours. There are even some parts that aren't being manufactured anymore. It was a big help. Thanks to that, the Tartarus is no longer operational. But if the Albior can actually fly, we won't need the Tartarus anymore. What do you mean, actually? The Albior carries our hopes and dreams. It will never fall. It already did. Hey, guys, hurry it up! They're breaking down the door! What's the condition of the Albior 2? It's finished, and the pilot's ready too! Okay, we'll handle those soldiers, hurry! But the soldiers are quite irate. Perhaps I should tell them who I am. There's no time! Leave it to us! Never underestimate the elderly. Now, take off into the great sky of dreams! We'll leave the rest to you. By our honor as Sheridan's Class M, this is as far as you go! I've been waiting for you. Who are you? I'm the Albior 2's pilot, Noel. Genji, the Albior 1's pilot, is my older brother. I'll fly you to St. Vina in his stead. Thanks. Let's go! So yeah, as is standard for the series, after you get a boat... Or... Well, I don't know if it's standard for the entire series, but I know that in every Tales game aside from Legendia... Um, or Legendia, I don't know how you would pronounce that spin on the word, but... In all the ones except for that one, I think, you get a boat and then you get a plane. So yeah, this is our plane, the Albior. Mr. McGovern, are you all okay? Ah, it's you! What's that vehicle? Field Marshal, we'll talk later. Right now, let's just get everyone on board.
Allow me to express my gratitude. But what's going to become of Saint Mina? I imagine it will sink into the mantle before long. No! Is there nothing we can do? This is like when Hod fell. They say it took a month to sink. Hod. Hmm. So this is vengeance for Hod. Is there really nothing we can do? It's sad to lose your home. It's already weird enough having the ground fall apart. I can't think of anything we can do. It's hopeless. I know. What about the Sephiroth? This place fell because Master Van messed with that passage ring thing and did something to the Sephiroth, right? Then can't we just bring it back? But we don't know how to use passage rings. Then we'll interrogate Master Van and... Luke, there's no way we could pull that off. I understand how you feel, but... No, you don't, Guy. None of you do. Luke. I'm the one who destroyed Axeriuth. That's why I have to do something now. I know this won't make up for what I've done, but if I could save this one city... Luke, get a hold of yourself. You won't get anything done like that. Let's go to Yulia City. They know more about the Sephiroth than we do. Now that the score predicting St. Bina's safety has faltered... Yes, Grandfather might be willing to help. And Luke, you sounded like a child a moment ago. Everyone here wants to save St. Bina. You're right. I'm sorry. Don't worry about it. We're not mad or anything. I'll launch the Albior then. Well, nobody's mad except Jade, but... No, uh, whatever. He doesn't really count. He's not that worthwhile. <laughs> uh, no, Jade's awesome. Okay, the Albior can be controlled freely. Alright, it's basically the exact same controls as the Tartarus, except you can land and you can take off on certain areas. Um, you press circle to land, and you see those sections with the trees? Alright, you press X to take off as well. Um, you can't land in these sections with the trees, even though I'm mashing the circle. But, um, eventually you will be able to land there. However, we do not have the ability to do so right now, so we're not going to bother with that. So anyway, um, at this point, I will look at us kid. So yeah, at least we were able to save the people of St. Bina. Yeah, where there's life, there's hope after all. I don't want to save St. Bina itself. I know. We all saw how, you, how worked up you were. Luke, you've performed your duty as a no member of the Kimlaskin royal family admirably. Now we can search for a way to save the town itself. I know. Jay just chewed me out for getting too anxious, too. Yeah, having saved the people is more than enough for now. Absolutely. I hardly think that atonement means having to feel constant guilt. Yeah, that is a good... A, a world of death. It's just talking about the cliff off. We already know how crappy it is. We all saw the kid get sucked into the mud. Yeah, whatever, I don't know. You know what? I should have a count. I should have had a counter for how many times I say I don't know. That's like my whatever. That's another one of my catchphrases. Apparently, I don't know. Huh. Okay, whatever. Anyway, go ahead and see now. When you go to Yulia City, you you don't land anywhere and walk up to the city. You just land on the city. So, yeah, I th I've always thought that was kind of interesting. That's the only city you can actually enter by landing on it. I think. But anyway, let's go to Yulia City. Hey, where's the mayor? He should be in his office, except he's right in front of us. Grandfather! I figured you'd come. I've been waiting for you. Grandfather, please help us. We want to save St. Bina. Yes, I suppose we must. Though we are fearful of deviating from the score. Before we talk, I'd like to let the people from St. Bina get some rest. Oh, yes. Let us take them in. Thank you. Luke, don't be discouraged. What? 
Jade rarely scolds people. Uh, what he said earlier shows that he's taken a liking to you. Field Marshal, don't put words in my mouth. Old folks don't have time to bother scolding people we don't like. Jade is no different. Honestly, of all the things to say, I'm going on ahead. <laughs> he pegged him. Guess Jade has a few soft spots after all. <laughs> yeah. Tear. Um, thanks. What's this, all of a sudden? You've scolded me from the very beginning. Oh, that was just... I mean... It's weird. I always thought of getting scolded as a bad thing. It's not a good thing, either. I know that. Ah, oh, Luke always getting confused about seemingly obvious things. What would we do without the main characters all, like, all being idiots? Anyway, um, you want to go ahead and come over here? Uh, yes. Alright, go ahead and talk to this man here. As soon as you come back after St. Mina falls. Oh no, this is terrible! What am I gonna do? Well, what's wrong? Alright, blah blah blah. It's basically the exact same thing as the other two, where you had to buy rice and then apple gels, or, uh, rep reverse that. This time you need to give him five maces. Now, I bought those five maces ain't in St. Bina. That, I believe that is the only store where you can buy them. So, yeah. You can make them in the little in Din shop in Kessedonia, but that is a much more reliable way to get that done. Because it's just, yeah. Anyway, go ahead and talk to this guy, too. This is for one of Luke's thingies. Alright, I used to live in St. Bina. Man, that was a close call. But I left my home in a hurry, and the only valuable I have now is this arcane art text. Th that's the an Albert, an Albert style text. Did you buy that in Batical? Why, yes, I did indeed. That originally belonged to my family. Can I have it back? This is all I have left, and I bought it for a large sum of money. How much? I'll pay. 40,000 gold. Okay, I'll buy it back. Whoa, Luke, hold on, that's our money too. But, but if we explain the situation to my parents, they'll fire the maid. How about taking the money in exchange for valuable hard work? Work? Just do something to help your mother. That doting, I mean kind mother, will surely be able to be happy to give you the money. Colonel, how can you say things like that? Still, he's right. If Luke were to offer to help his mother out, she'd probably be beside herself with joy. Okay, let's try it. Alright, so that that is actually a dangerous quest. I'll tell you why. As soon as you get the money from your mom, we're not going to be getting it for a little while, though, just letting you know. Um... As once you get that money from your mom, it goes into your uh, your current gold down there, but that money can be spent. And the thing is, you cannot buy that arcane art text with your own money. So if you spend all of your money and you take away that 40000 that he, she gives you in the end, it is virtually impossible to get that particular art. So just letting you know ahead of time, once you get the money, just make a beeline straight back to the person who has the text, and then you'll be safe. If you don't, then you may wander off and forget about it, and then end up screwing yourself over. So if you're going for 100%, be careful. Anyway, uh, now that we're back here in Yulia City, I think I'm going to go ahead and end it off. In the next part, we're going to go ahead and um, do some stuff here. We're going to talk to the mayor about trying to fix the Sephiroth tree and save St. Bean or whatever. I don't know. Anyway, see you guys then. Oh, hey, I said I don't know again and again. Anyway, see ya.